dark shadow, dark shadow, highlighter in the center, and you're done. Hi everyone, it's Smita. Welcome back. I'm super excited about today's tutorial. If you're a beginner or a pro, this five minute spotlight eye works like magic. If you enjoy makeup and if you like to learn step by step, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And now without further delay, let's begin. Now you can't skip this first step. I'm going to be using my favorite Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4 to fill in the sparse areas as well as to shape my brows. And the reason you can't skip the step is because eyebrows define and frame your eye makeup. A part of framing the brows is also cleaning up underneath. So I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145 to clean up underneath the brows. But I'm not going to be using it on my lid as a base because we will be using something else. And that something else, <laughs> again, is the House Labs Cold Liner. I use this as a base so many times because it's so creamy and it's so blendable. All I'm going to do is dot it in my inner and outer corners and I'm going to quickly smudge it with my finger. And you can see how quickly that smudges and blends out so it works like a dream. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Ornate palette. This is by Colourpop. I'm going to dip into Rival and I'm going to quickly stamp it on top of the smudge liner with my finger. And because the base is still sticky, it's going to hold on to the eyeshadow and it's not going to fall out. You can use any eye pencil as a base, just make sure it's blendable or you can also use gel liner. And I'm not sure you're ready for the next step. Hold your breath because right in the center, I'm going to be using a liquid highlighter. This is Mesmerize by Rare Beauty. I'm just using one drop and I'm going to spread it out with my finger. Again, super blendable and can be used as a base if you didn't know. And this next step will elevate this look further. While the highlighter is still tacky, I'm going to use a pressed glitter over this. This is from the Discovery eyeshadow palette again from Rare Beauty. And you can see how beautiful that looks. And you can now see that spotlight right in the center and that's why it's called the spotlight eye. To soften the edges, I'm going to be using Charisma with a small blending brush. Quickly blend it out till everything looks soft and nice. While we are done with the lid part, I'm going to show you how to imitate the same in the lower lash line. First, I'm going to use that cold gel liner in the outer and inner corners of my waterline, later smudging it out lightly. So that leaves us with the dark base in the corners. And just like we did on the lids, I'm going to be using Rival on top of this, smoking it out. And for that spotlight in the center, I'm going to be using a metallic eye pencil. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Eye Pencil in Hypnotic Gold. Stunning, stunning. And just like I did with the lid, I'm just going to use a tad bit of glitter right in the center. Time to finish up, my friends. So I'm going to be curling my lashes. This is the Sally Hansen Curler, the only one that I use. And for mascara, I'm going to be using a new one by Ofra Cosmetics in Baddie Lashes. This is a beautiful mascara, adds so much length and volume. This also comes with a primer and serum if you want more volume. But I'm just happy with this alone. It is so beautiful. Okay, my friends, what do you think? And look at that spotlight right in the center. That's the only spotlight at least I need. I don't, I don't know. It just makes me so excited and happy. And I hope it does the same to you as well. To balance this look, I wanted something really soft on my lips. So I'm going to start with the Makeup Forever Shine On Lipstick. This is in the shade Joyful Petal, which is a beautiful rose shade. And for that extra oomph, I'm going to be using the Rehab Lip Plump. This is by Revolution Beauty. Sometimes I just use it on my lips by itself. It is beautiful. But now I'm just using it on the lipstick to just give me that extra pout. 
How magical is this look and how quickly does it get done? I hope you try it and let me know how it goes for you. My socials are listed down below in the description box if you plan to tag me. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Again, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post several different videos from beginner to pro level. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for an exciting playlist of all the hacks that I've learned over the years right after this video in the end screen. I'll see you soon. Bye.